and then oh, the secular music, you know, not. Ah, yes. Obviously, every music has its own setting. We come to mass for, again, those four reasons I mentioned. Does that music mean adoration of God or praise of God or asking pardon for our sins and the reparation or begging God for what we need? Recreation is very different. You know, the maestro who gesticulates and makes funny movements, most of them unnecessary, and then he finishes, he makes a, bit, a deep bow, and there's a standing ovation. That's good for theater, but not for mass. <laughs> Young people's rock music, they enjoy, enjoy, is good for picnic, <laughs> but not for mass. Everything has its proper place. Therefore, the bishops of each area should get a good music commission okay. so that they have music book containing Catholic hymns so that only Catholic hymns are sung because what we sing should manifest what we believe and should nourish our faith and not just sing anything. It should be theologically deep liturgically rooted and musically acceptable. Unfortunately, many things sung in some Catholic churches should not figure at all inside the church. I'm asking a question for my 16-year-old daughter, and um, she, her organ teacher is a um, music minister at a Protestant church and has asked her if she would play sometime for their, one of their services, and she wants to know if that's permissible or not. If they want her to do it on a regular basis, please no, because no. it would look like she's saying that one way of worship is the same as the other. No, it wasn't if a regular basis, but she said, would you play occasionally? I don't, that, that's all we've, we I haven't have, answered yet. I have given about as much answer as I can give. Yeah. If it okay. is regarded as exceptional, exceptional. Uh, okay. but not um, something regularly done every few months. Okay. Otherwise, they stampede her into uh, active participation in a worship that is not Catholic. Okay, thank you. Yeah.